Alex with windowcleaner.com. Today I want to show you how to fit your zero pole with a univalve. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the brush and fast lock adapter from your pole. Open the top clamp and pull out the fast lock adapter. Then you want to feed your tubing through your water fed pole so it comes out the number one clamp about a foot. Zero poles are really easy to feed the tubing through. Once the tubing comes through the top number one section of the pole, okay, we're gonna cut that one foot off of the tubing. When you get your univalve, it's gonna come in a bag with three small O clamps. Take the section of tubing that your zero pole is on, slide an O clamp on, then you're gonna take the univalve, the part that's a different color. Sometimes they will vary in color. We get them in gray, we get them in red, we've seen them in blue, but there's always gonna be a section that's a different color and you can tell it's like another part of the univalve. It's actually two pieces. That side is going to face your water fed pole. Slide the tubing over the barb on the univalve. Once the tubing is all the way on the barb, I'm gonna slide the O clamp up. They make special tools for these clamps specifically, but honestly, there's no need to buy a special tool for this clamp. You can use something simple like a pair of dikes. All you're gonna do is crimp gently on each side using the dikes. You wanna crimp evenly too, so you don't get too much of a pinch on one side or the other. Then you're gonna put the extra piece of tubing on the opposite end of the univalve. Slide your little O-clamp on over the barb. And again, tighten with your dikes. Okay, now the univalve is going to go right through that number one section. Now, take your fast lock adapter, feed the tubing through, and put it right back into the number one clamp. Tighten the number one clamp down. Next, you're gonna take the third O-clamp and put it right up to the fast lock adapter. Now we're going to find the right angle and gently tighten this down. You don't want to crimp it too much where you're going to pinch the hose and impede the flow, but you want to crimp it enough that it holds onto the tubing just firm enough so it won't pull the tubing back through the fast lock adapter. Go ahead and connect your brush and connect the tubing to the fitting on your brush. The univalve is successfully installed right about here inside your water fed pole. So when you extend it, it's gonna stay right there. Now, what a univalve does is allows you to control the flow of water, turning it on and off from the bottom of the pole where you're working, obviously. All you need to do is tug on the tubing. One tug will start the flow of water, Another tub will stop the flow of water. This is really great and really important when conserving water, especially if you're using a DI only system. Uh, when using DI only, your water is just more expensive to produce, so you really want to conserve every drop. Also, it's just nice. You can make less of a mess on the job site. You're not spraying water from window to window. Scrub, rinse your window, stop the flow of water, move on to the next, start the flow of water. It's easy enough, just tug on the hose to stop and start. Univalve is very easy to install, it takes just a few minutes, and it's gonna help you conserve water along the job site. You're gonna fit on any zero water fed pole quickly and easily. Head over to windowcleaner.com and search out the Univalve.